In this video, we're gonna be looking at the best tips and what you need to have in mind before investing in your PC hardware. And in the description, you will find the best Black Friday deals for each PC port to help you navigate through this year's biggest sale. Hey, how's it going, guys? Glad you made it. On this channel, I cover tech, console, and PC ports and components and yeah, product reviews. And so if you're interested in that, you wanna subscribe and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Now, this video was recorded a few days Days before Black Friday and so I'm gonna update the video description with the best Black Friday deals as soon as the deals become available and so if you're watching this video on Black Friday the video description should be packed with the best components for X amount of dollars or euros and so what we will be focusing on in this video is to kind of give you guys the best general tips to have in mind when buying and picking new parts so that you don't end up disappointed with low frame rate, stutter, compatibility, issues, blue screens and ultimately a sad and depressing experience. So when it comes to PC components, what specific parts should you expect to save the most on? Let's go through each PC component individually and cover them one by one. And by the end of this video, I will be saving a few tips for you that can make you save even more money. So definitely stick around till the end. And with that said, let's have a look at the graphics card. Now, a few things here. If you're looking to upgrade your graphics card, generally you're gonna see the best deals in the mid-range cards, such as the RX 560, the RX 580, and the GTX 1050, the GTX 1060 cards. And these cards will work great for 1080p gaming in pretty much all AAA titles for gaming above 1080p, let's say 1440p or 4K, you gotta wanna look into either the RX Vega 56 or 64 or the GTX 1070 or the RTX 1070 or similar. Or you can, of course, be fancy and go SLI with two older graphics cards if that is your cup of tea, like what I'm currently doing. Now, prices on the new RTX lineup are, as you may be aware of, through the roof. And even though they might get the price reduction during Black Friday, it's most likely not gonna be a lot. You can save on these, since the stock is rather low right now, and demand is pretty high still. And so again, big sales on these cards are not too expected. But again, if you are after a new graphics card, and you wanna game at 1080p, a GTX 1060 or RX 570, or RX 580 is what I like to recommend here. Now for GTX 1060, Nvidia is selling two models, one with three gigabytes of VRAM and another one with six gigabytes. You wanna get the last one with six gigabytes as this card has simply more video memory and it's actually faster as well. And three gigabytes is actually a minimum requirement in many AAA games today already. Now as for AMD RX 560, and the RX 580 is what you want to aim for. I definitely like to recommend the RX 580 if you can afford it. Now you got two options here as well. We got four gigs and we got an eight gigabyte model. Now, do you know which one you should pick? That's right, the four gigabyte one. Now, sorry, I mean the eight gigabyte one. The difference in VRAM will make more sense in the future. So uh, <laughs> right now, four gigabytes might be fine, but if you're planning to use the same components for a long time, definitely don't try and save money here, guys. Go for the eight gigabyte model. Now, as for higher end graphics card, I will be uh, linking up the best deals if there will be any good ones. Moving on to the processor, the best deal that you will find is definitely going to be the AMD Ryzen. And although there will be savings to make on Intel's KB Lake, and coffee lake processors processors is not going to be as much right now there is an overstock of the first generation ryzen processors so even though these processors have slightly worse ipc and quite picky when it comes to memory supported compared to the second generation ryzen it can be a great deal if you want to get started right away with the new system now since amd will be supporting the am4 socket with the next generation send 3 processor 
Lancers. You're going to have the option to upgrade later down the line if you want, for example. Let's say you pick up the 1600X, for example. Something you need to be aware of if you decide something like this is that you need to have upgraded your BIOS on your motherboard before upgrading. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Anyway, you will be able to save on the second generation Ryzen as well. Now for general gaming at 1080p, the 2700 or the 2600 will work excellent for most gamers. That being said, a CPU from the last generation Coffee Lake is currently the best CPU for gaming, but it's also very pricey. And so in the end of the day, it's up to you if uh, the much higher price tag is worth it or not. Anyway, I will link up the best deals in the description down below. Moving on to motherboards, let's just say this is a jungle, guys. It's uh, hard to recommend something based on no ideas what features you're interested in and there's so many models to choose from let's look at the simple made up example here let's say you got two models that looks exactly the same but one has this letter k added to its name which could mean let's say built-in wi-fi and because of that it's priced 50 dollars more Maybe you need that, maybe you don't, and so you need to be a bit careful here so that you don't end up spending on things you're not interested in. That being said, you can usually save a lot of money here, because motherboards usually get a great price dump on Black Friday. As for AMD, I suggest you to avoid the X370 and the B350 chipset if you can, not because they're generally bad, it's just that the manufacturers have learned learned a lot since the first generation Ryzen lineup, whereas the first generation was quite picky when it came to what memory modules it would support and what not. The second generation, the X470 and the B450, this have improved a lot. I'm gonna link up the best deals down below for you guys. Now when it comes to RAM or primary memory, I'm happy to say that we're finally seeing DDR4 RAM finally starting to drop in price again. Can I get a hallelujah? Now to the never ending question, should you get 8 or 16 GB? How much should you get? I strongly argue that 16 GB is where the future is, but... If you only can afford 8 gig, hey, definitely go for it. You can upgrade later down the line. There are a few things here to have in mind. It's been proven that AMD benefit quite a lot with faster DDR4, which will help lower the latency quite a lot and give you better frame rates in games. And so the difference between a, let's say, 2133 MHz memory and a 3200 memory kit is pretty significant. And you can increase your frame rate quite a lot by going with a faster kit of memory. And so for AMD, I strongly recommend you to look for faster DDR memory. And so if you can pick up a memory with a frequency of around 3000 MHz or let's say 3200 MHz or even faster, it's definitely gonna be the best deal that you can make motherboard manufacturers also has this qvl list for what specific ram they support something worth looking into as well to guarantee compatibility i'll link up the best deals right now down below as for intel i link up that down below as well now what about storage ssd is finally dropping in price right now as well and here you're gonna be able to find some really awesome deals especially on the one terabyte models but also also the 500 gigabyte models. As always, I link up the best deals down below. Now as for PC case, CPU coolers and power supply units, you can save a ton here guys. I link up the best deals down below. Now if you want to save money, is it possible and how do you do it? Now what I like to ask is honestly, do you need a new graphics card or a new CPU? Here's the reality, prices on graphics cards are still through the roof guys many cases you can overclock your stuff to reach satisfying results that can actually save you from spending on 
buying new hardware. If overclocking isn't giving you enough oomph, you may be fine by just lowering the details in game just by a few steps to reach a satisfying frame rate. Many times, lowering things like anti aliasing and quality of shadows is enough to gain about 10 to 12 FPS many times. Unless you're sitting on very old hardware, these two tips should definitely help you save money here. Also, don't forget about the used market. Now is actually the perfect chance to grab a used GTX 1050 Ti, for example, really cheap during the biggest sales such as Black Friday. Now, what can you do about your CPU? What I'd like to ask you is do you really need a new one? If you're playing a lot of games, in many cases, what's bottlenecking your system is not the CPU but your graphics card. Also, when it comes to CPUs, it's not generally speaking as easy to change it as it is for let's say a graphics card many times if you haven't upgraded your motherboard in a while you're gonna have to upgrade that as well which means you probably need to upgrade to DDDR for memory in addition to that as well so as you hear it can become pretty expensive to toss out just the CPU what I like to recommend here is either to try overclocking this can give you plenty of performance basically for free I cover overclocking in other videos now if this is something you don't want to try I suggest you to have a look at eBay or the used market on Amazon where you can save a lot of money. You need to be a little bit careful though as you need to be sure that each PC part work with each other. And that's it guys. What tips did I miss and what PC parts have you picked up so far? Share your ideas and thoughts in the comments. I cannot wait to hear what stuff you guys have picked up so far. But until next time, have an awesome day alright? Bye!